My name is Pamela Schultz. I'm a professor in the School of Family and Consumer Sciences. I um, am the director of the Center for Family Studies. I am the secretary of the Faculty Senate, and I'm also the secretary of the Akron AUP. Okay. Well, uh, no confidence vote is, is really just what it's, it sounds like it is. It means the faculty no longer have confidence in the leadership of the university and no longer see the, the administration, particularly in this instance, the president who was named in the uh, resolution, as someone that they can work with to achieve the core mission of the university. And so that's that's what that's really all it means. And that we had a really overwhelming positive roll call vote. I think really it, it really calls for some major action to be taken. Well, what I expected to happen happened is that uh, we got a defensive statement from the board of trustees chair that basically blamed the vote on the unions, even though there's no evidence to that effect, and it, it's just ridiculous. Uh, so he said that, and now he's issued a, a statement more recently that says he wants to talk to the um, faculty uh, senate leadership, the, the executive committee. Um, that is the positive development. I didn't necessarily anticipate that. So that was, you know, and I've already given a statement to this effect to, to the book delight that I was guardedly optimistic by that statement and by um, that decision by the board. And I, I am, we will see what happens. I really don't know what anything could happen. This is so unprecedented. This is the first such vote in Akron's history, to my knowledge. Uh, these votes, in spite of uh, some of the statements to the contrary, are fairly unusual um, nationwide. They're becoming a little bit more common, but they're still pretty unusual uh, measures for faculty to take. Uh, so it's, it, what happens really is very uh, dependent on a, a lot of other factors about what's going on at the university. And given that this particular vote was, was followed by a letter from the chairs and directors to the board of trustees and to the chancellor. Uh, and uh, given that there was also a letter from the retirees that expressed uh, grave concerns about the leadership of the university. And given that, there is a campaign that uh, concerned community members have, have actually spent their own money on to place ads. These are mostly alum, from what I've heard. Uh, ads in the local paper expressing their views about uh, their lack of confidence in the administration. Given that all these things are happening, and now the local paper had an op-ed that, although I understand the wording has been somewhat changed just today, the original wording was they believe they needed uh, to uh, have a change in leadership, basically called for the removal of the president by the local paper. Once that happened, I mean, that's, I've never seen anything like this. This is very unprecedented, and I don't. I think that you can't have the status quo after all this happens. The, the, the vote of no confidence has to be considered in the context of everything else that's going on. You know, I, I'm really, I'm really worried about the university, and I think anybody who isn't right now. <laughs> Is, is not living in reality. I mean, we, we really are facing certainly one of the greatest challenges in this university's history. Uh, I think someone wrote, and I can't, there have been so many articles been published, I can hardly keep track, but the, the greatest challenge was a stain bond, the greatest challenge since Buffalo Hall, Hall burnt down. She wasn't understating it. It's that big a challenge, and we have that much at stake. And, you know, it doesn't take long to destroy the reputation of the university. It takes a long time to build it. And so I'm, I'm really deeply concerned that if something doesn't change and change soon, if we don't really do something to regain the trust of the students, of the community, uh, in, the, in this institution, that I don't know what's going to happen to us.